Welcome to the Philippines! Thank you so much, Department of Tourism. <laughs> That's the beauty of the Philippines, right? That's what it said. It's more fun in the Philippines, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> So I'm here now in the town center of Carles, which is the municipality of what? Iloilo? No, not municipality of Iloilo, but part of Iloilo within Panay Islands. Now this is currently what they have here. This is the small town and this is where they do their shopping, do their groceries and this is the town where they come here and mostly hang out and also buy stuff that they need before they go to the islands. People here, it's a fishing ground here. This is exactly where they are. And also the population says I would say it's 70,000 people here living in this um, area but it's more of like barangays. This is what currently they have here. The town itself is not that busy simply because the population is not that big but as you can see this is exactly how they make a living. We passed by earlier here in the town where there is a mercado which is called the market. That's where the fishing market here is the wet market. But definitely this place is more of like a town. It's a very rural town here. There's nothing much, a lot to see in this area because you have to experience the islands. This is the reason why we're getting on a boat to see different islands today. As you can see, Cales is just a small town, but then there's also like on the side is the islands, which is make more interesting for people, for tourists, because you know, if you're traveling and you are on a holiday, you want to understand somehow that you want to see the beach, the sand, and the beauty of the ocean. That's why this place, Cales, I think would definitely be one of your bucket lists here in the Philippines, and then, you know, make way to a different islands here so you can experience and explore lifestyles and the different people you know the culture here in the islands and how they fish and how they actually survive and thrive hindi ko mauga maangi sa kabax na nada ko mauga na siya mga 12-13 kilos na siya sa uga hindi barato lang pag utsintang kilo sa ano kalkag So here as well, you can see a lot of economical things that you find in this area. You know, there's small kiosk here where you buy a little bit of tiny stuff because everything here is very economical. Such as this one. Look at this. This is the what? This is the oldest one, right? This is the oldest Coca-Cola in terms of you know drinks. A soda drink is called RC Cola. Ah, this is the oldest one here in the Philippines, and then the Coca-Cola, and then. Yeah, there's a lot of like brands now, but look at this, it's so cute. RC Cola all the way, I remember this. Now, in every place is like this, everything is so economical because everybody only earns money on the day and if you have money, they buy small tiny things to survive, such as the food here, especially with the rice. They don't buy sacks of rice here, they buy by kilos or half a kilo, you know, whatever they can find in terms of money they have on the day. That's the reason why everything here is on a pack, for example, sachets, shampoos, and chips and yeah just a lot of things here well, I made it to Bangkal airport um, all the way from the resort where we're staying and this is exactly what it looks like here the air not the airport but the port where we're going to board the boat 
Good morning. Thank you. So what we do here because as part of the policy you need to register yourself before you do island hopping. Well, so you have to write everything here manually that's what it is just to keep you in so they know exactly who's who's out of the sea today so they have to write everything down manually so this is exactly what it looks like now so we have our boat captain here right we'll look at hello now this is a tourism information and ticketing center the tourism agency will do everything for you as long as you pay the cost and the amount of the money you have to exactly you know talk to them and you, know, so you don't have to worry about lining up you don't have to worry about doing it extra few little steps right so you you know it's easier for you you don't have to worry about everything now this port is basically the Bangkal Bagsakan Center which is actually the port here in Carles and this is all the boats goes out this is where the starts of the island hopping <laughs> so when you get here to Carles these ladies are selling stuff so make sure you buy buy stuff for them when you go out into the open sea because they sell so many things here that's the way of living here but look at them they're so happy and joyous and yeah say hello to everyone hello so we're heading now to board the boat here we go this is what it looks like okay my last I'm past gas thank you okay I'm fine I have a very good balance Thank you. Thank you. Ah, what a relief. See, I had a very good balance. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. We are heading island hopping today and, you know, hope for the best. This is how you do it, right? So you get so the boat is there and it's because it's very shallow in this side. So you know the boat needs to dock in that area and you gotta walk and make sure you are wearing your short and this waterproof bag. Because otherwise everything is gonna get wet. It is uh, man, this is what Philippine life is all about. You thought Philippines is all about those big cities and you know <laughs> all those nice buildings and malls but you gotta go out and see what really is the Philippines is all about this is what you get this is what you get such a nice place Welcome to Barangay Lantangan here in Carles and this is how they live. It's another island away from the civilization I must say. And you know when you get here you get another boat here to, um, to, to come to this area. 
This is where some of the fishermen and um, people who are actually doing the tourist boats. So they live here and they have all their boats here. It's more of like a docking area for them because that's their means of business. Wow. Able to see this place is so nice because you get the chance to explore the beauty of the culture and also just to be just to be here it feels like surreal because it's more of like a place where you can you know rest for the whole day and especially I know people a lot of people would tell me that the sunrise and sunset here is so good that is something that is so luxurious in some other countries but for them it's just a normal way of life but for other people having a sunrise living at a beach like this you know the seaside it's luxurious already wake up in the morning catch a fish and do something and you know they have the luxurious life here because they could see the beautiful sunrise and sunset and look at this place if you ever come here you get a chance to see those coconuts again you know the sand the sea and the beauty of this place very relaxing of course there's gonna be a lot of neighborhoods here because this is where they live because it's a livelihood place and yeah I think they have a Wi-Fi here as well but limited and also electricity is also limited or oh, you could hear the rooster behind me this place this is just being able to come here and experience the raw travel on the islands of the Philippines Stay in Lantangan, there's also accommodations here, you can stay overnight here and look at these people, they're the ones who are taking care of this area and this place is just so beautiful because you can see the sunrise and the sunset, they have the luxurious view in this area and look at that, the meals here are so good, filled with seafoods and so much more so you gotta have, you know, have faith when you come here because you know it's an island so it's separate from the city itself but you're gonna ride a boat to come here and enjoy the best time of your life because Philippines is all about the islands the islands of the Philippines so you're gonna travel by boat you're gonna travel by a lot of different um, transportation but especially the boat because that's the beauty of the Philippines right that's what I said it's more fun in the Philippines right yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> all right I'll see you later